Well, this year has been like no other on, on Children's Day today. We're going to talk about how children who've been deprived for the most part of the year of classrooms, of friends and of the outdoors, how they've spent a large part of the year glued to screens. This is a whole new problem that is being faced by parents now, which is the increased screen time. Well, we have a very interesting guest who joins us, Rohini Nilekani, the author of Hungry Sky Monster, published by Juggernaut Books, joins us to talk about just how you can get your kids to read more. Rohini, thanks so much for speaking with us. You know, the question that's on everyone's mind is, when should kids start reading? What's the right age to get them uh, to start reading? Well, Thank you for that question, but Rishika first, Namaste and Happy Diwali to all our viewers. And now I'll come to your question. Thank you for having me on your show. And yeah, it's a very important question to ask because especially in the lockdown, right? Especially in this pandemic rather, parents, poor things, I've been seeing them uh, being really nervous about children and screen time. And so it's a very good question to ask. How should you get children to read more physical books? How should you, how much screen time should you use uh, so that their brain doesn't get fried and they keep learning stuff, right? So when we were parents, it was much easier. But I would say that I've been doing some research on this and there is research to show that of course children need physical books around and the earlier the better. So I would say as early as six months, but then research is showing that so long as they've been exposed to physical books, to cultivate and sustain the reading habit, it is quite all right to allow them to look at digital books for a certain amount of time. But to the question, how soon should we start children reading? Well, actually, possibly when they are in the mother's womb, you can start reading to them and they should receive their first book when they are six months old. All right. So start them young is essentially the message that you're sending out. The other obvious question is what should you give kids to read so that they get hooked, uh, you know, to, to paperbacks or, or to, uh, uh, you know, to, to text and to books and uh, that wins over the screen? Right. So since I'm most interested in the reading of very young kids, and when I co-founded Pratham Books also, we did a lot of focus on early reading and early readers. I would say children are naturally drawn to colorful books. I mean, holding a, a, holding a real book in your hand, right, and feeling it, this is of course my book, but just feeling its pages, right, looking at the illustrations, you can't beat that experience. You simply don't get that on a screen. And for young children, Tactile experiences are very important. So physical books are critical for very young children. And frankly, they, they would rather have a physical book that is well produced and a good story. It will definitely engage them. I don't think they'll be wanting to tear away from it, especially if a caring adult is around who is interested in that book, who's sharing that book experience with them. So I think that's very important to start early with physical books. That's what get them gets little children hooked on books. Well, before we let you go, start early clearly is the message, but how do you sustain the practice of reading among kids? Well, I wouldn't recommend, if you're having a family meal, you really don't want to encourage anybody doing anything private. Hopefully dinner times and lunch times are meant for family conversations, not for doing individual activity. So as far as possible, I would recommend we do that because when otherwise our families to talk to each other. But in terms of sustaining a habit, I think parents, teachers, grandparents, everybody has a role to play in, you know, libraries, everyone has a role to play. The Samaj has a role to play in sustaining a reading habit in this nation because we need children to read more and get parents reading with them, parents buying books, parents telling their children to gift books forward. Now, all these are very important things that help sustain the habit of reading, making sure they have diverse books of all kinds, because all children have very different tastes. You don't know which child will like what kind of books. Some people will like fiction, nonfiction, expose them to all kinds of books and be there for them for a little while till they sustain that habit. And then you will have the opposite problem. You will have to wrench them away from their books. I can guarantee you that. Well, I think that's very useful advice, Rohini Nilekani. Thanks so much for speaking with NDTV.